Uh, what's up guys, Peruvian's Finest here with a new video uh, profiling my guild key build that I've been showcasing combos with uh, throughout the last couple of days. So here I'll preview what I've been running. So you have here three suprex, double twist cobra, double headbat, double octo, one bit for scorpio, and one bear hug. Uh, you run your 11 Gokis, I feel, with this build. Uh, previously, I think with the uh, Tour Scorpio with um, the Sky Striker engine was correct, but with that, you need to run Kagari, because that gets you the, um, the quick play uh, drones back to your hand and be, be able to activate it so you have a token, and that way you can tribute summon over uh, Kagari, so you can still have full combo, but extra deck space is too tight so I feel if, uh, just one or Scorpio is fine and the rest of the ratios here is fine as well uh, two head bat essential obviously because of uh, reincarnation and whatnot uh, for the hand traps you just run six um, uh, ashes and drolls obviously if you go second these shine the best um, also the draw has a corner action with the deck too in case like games two and three uh, you try to um, Gumblar them. It also comes in useful as a level 1, so you're able to special summon it off at the end of the combo, so you can still do the Gumblar loop. <coughs> and the one Ibli, of course. Uh, for the spells, you run the Sky Striker engine, you run a uh, 3 Engage, and 3 Horner Drones. Uh, I don't run the Ego Booster, because I feel that... Um, People can still play around it, like say you search engage and search ego booster and then you do your combo. Um, your opponents will know not to like interfere with the soul day, obviously because the soul day is going to be your only monster there. And if they try to ash, ogre, Baylor, and permanence, well, ego boosters you're out. However, if they're smart enough to wait when you go your um, nightmare uh, mermaid into your firewall combo, where you'll have fire one in the main monster zone, that's when they'll do their do like the ogre or ash or impermanence on that on that play, making your ego booster at that point dead. So all it takes is a smart player to like play around it and then you're you're not able to get a, able to function properly with that. Um, then you play three instant fusions. Uh, it's another card that doesn't waste your normal summon. I feel it's pretty good. Um, you run three call to the graves and three drag down to the grave. Um, these cards just is another way to get hand traps out of your opponent's hand. Um, so you're guaranteed your combo to go through. And then you play double rematch. Uh, second one comes up a lot, granted. Um, not many people do play bell, so it's not for the case of that. For the case of like uh, trick stars, I mean trick stars again. If they reincarnate the first rematch, you always have the second, so you can search. <clears throat> and then you play your soul charge and Rhoda. Uh, I don't play one for one because I do play a lot of spells already. So one for one in this deck will tend to be a little bit more dead. Um, so these two are just fine. And you play one sword, uh, one. And one Libby Fossil. Um, Libby Fossil is a little bit better than uh, all the other equip spells in my in my opinion. Um, it lets you still combo. Um, it's just that you can't. Um, if you bring out a Goki with this card, it won't it won't equal like full combo or it kind of interferes with your combo because it banishes the Goki, meaning you won't get to search off the Goki. But it's also a good way to like get a guy on board, extra guy on board, so you can like make more links. Uh, but granted, remember this can only bring out level monster so you can bring out, can bring out links, uh, exceeds, whatever, and it makes the card lose a thousand attack. And for the last card I run one Shad Brigandine. Um, I feel like one might not be correct, but I feel one is okay because I really don't want to like draw into two and then have one being like another dead card in my hand when you're just drawing the one is good enough because you're only going to get the use out of it one time. Alright, for your extra deck. Uh, for the fusions, you run one Regen, uh, not the Dragoness, because Regen, uh, you don't play Invoker in this extra deck, so you get a lot, a lot of more utility out of Regen games too. 
uh, or playing second, uh, they sell some stuff like fucking monsters and whatnot. Uh, you play your nightmare packages, uh, you play one unicorn, one Cerberus, uh, double goblin, double phoenix, and one mermaid. Um, like throughout playing with the combos that I play with, I find these the correct number. Uh, two Phoenix, obviously, for even so you can start Kings Twin Three like bait out back row and whatnot. Uh, gob goblins there for like a throwaway, so you can make your full combos and whatnot. <coughs> and the other ones are just generic. Uh, then you play your Boar Load. Uh, I still play Boar Load. I feel like it's a card that it's just too powerful not to play, and also answers like their opposing Boar Load. You play the Firewall, Trigate, Sorceress, uh, Double Soul Day, and Link Rebo. Obviously, these are like the essential cards you need in your Goki deck. Uh, without these, it won't. Obviously, you're not making full combo, or the deck doesn't function as the way you're supposed. To, like it's meant to be ran. Like these cards get you to your plays and whatnot. Uh, Double Soul Day, uh, I feel, is correct because. Um, if you rely on just that one soul to go through, you're therefore cut off from your other plays. Um, especially if they like randomly like strike or warning your soul day, you're cut off from ever getting access through your sword and ever again for that rest of the duel. So I feel like uh, I don't want to take that uh, approach and feel safer with two soul day. Um, for the side deck. I cited the top logic of Lord Dragon. Uh, like OCG, I feel they're correct. Um, not maining this in your uh, extra deck, because usually you just want to use your opponent. That way they can't play absolutely at all. Because granted, that board you make is basically unbreakable. And games two and three, this can freely come in to take care of stuff like Gamma Seals, or Kaijus in general, Lava Golems, Spear Moans, and whatnot. Granted, you're not guaranteed to hit those. It's just for the option. And make you make your opponent start with two cards and they do end up having those at the end with two cards then their last card has to be like super good for them to continue playing you go uh then you play two ghost ogres it's for the mirror match or well, granted here's what's for the mirror match and let's see uh, play that three winner cherries and these uh, cherries, uh, ogres, and permanents for the mirror, and this sometimes also for when you're going first in the mirror. Uh, shared ride, it just makes your opponent say, oh, make, makes the game say, like, oh, you're like, if they want to continue searching, they're gonna have to give you more draws and whatnot. And also, good against the pure strikers, but I feel like that deck is not really that relevant in our format unless the Konami decides to change the, the time rules and whatnot. So, yeah. And then for Rogue, I just have uh, three Twin Twisters. I really don't respect the Ultra guys, uh, Draco and whatnot. Uh, but, uh, but like I said, um, your side deck can always be, it doesn't have to be like this side deck. It, the side deck can be just according to what your meta is. I'm just showing you a prime example of what a side deck would look like if, uh, like, Nationals and whatnot. Or you'll probably play a bunch of Sky Striker, Trick Stars, and the Mirror Match. Um, but your side deck can be whatever you feel like. Uh, you uh, was it like your side could be whatever you think you need to combat your meta. Um, so yeah, that's the side deck, extra deck, and main deck. Uh, the main deck is forty cards, um, and that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about Gokis or what you guys want to see about Gokis in the future, uh, just uh, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And yeah, uh, so take care, guys. Uh, Previous find this out. Later.